welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. What go on, my people? Open body, you know, okay? Open body, you know, all right? Me, I'm going to go to you go start the news. So, people, listen to what go on now. The two Chilani brothers charged for the murder of their uncle in an altercation over chicken has each been granted $400,000 bail. Shamario Green and Mikhail Ham were ordered to report to the police station once weekly and a stop order was also imposed. In a vacation for bail yesterday, the attorney able to foot argue that his client act in self-defense. Ah, yes, people. Everybody know what go on Panda Enzi and that the people them said to. He argued that the deceit was armed with a machete which he raised to inflict injuries to the men. But guess what, people? The man named Anglin Banga Fim. He further argued that the accused men were in fear of their life and acted lawfully the judge upheld the application and granted bail the matter is to be mentioned on may 2nd we know so we have some local newcomer about here so let me know what we are talking about so let me just give them a quick recap clive clark a laborer of troy chilani was killed shortly after 2 p.m on sunday february 2nd when he was supposed to eat him red rice and roast he left all the way from which party he lived guy in an argument with people and then slap him it has been alleged that he traveled to his sister's house where he and his two nephews got involved in a dispute over stolen chicken from the woman chicken cub and the man them fix him business him yes like how me there chilani from the other day me see the police time down the short be a wanted list and this a boy as he say him time I come to an end. Him run gang gang turn in himself. But chick just me a talk about people. Let me tell you about him now. One of nine men who were listed as wanted by lawmen in Chilani last week turned himself into the police on Monday. He is 64 year old. Yes people that is what I say. 64 year old. Junior teachers Clark. And guess what kind of work him do. Him is a laborer. Big 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 64 year old man is supposed to retire. Still a go on badness. Oh no, should I slap him? Oh no, should I slap him? 64 year old Junior Tiche Clark, a laborer from Buckner Hill in the parish, who was wanted for a stabbing incident that occurred almost two years ago. 64 minus 2, that is 62 people. So, this is it. This a boy don't deserve to be alive. Head of the Chilean Police Division Superintendent Carlos Russo told our news team that Clark made contact with the police and subsequently hand over himself. Hungry him get hungry. Yes, man. They are running hard time, Richard. So you know, say this perfect place to me is beyond bars. You can't get three curl meals a day. You know, Mr. Me Meal around there, so that's why you want to go around there. He has since been charged with wounded with intent. Superintendent Russell said he will appear in court next week, Wednesday. The incident for which Clark is charged occurred in Friendship District, Chelani, on April 24, 2020. The report that at about 3.30 a.m., Clark and a woman with whom he shared an intimate relationship got into an altercation after he accused her of still being involved with her ex-husband. So we we'll land there. The woman never did tell him, say, all fire stick easy if you catch. Coming like on the film catches. The woman can't give her catches. It is hers and hers alone. You understand? It's just your time to use it. But I'm not really for talk about that. But next day we go in a sex education class. Let me just finish this conversation and now. During the altercation, a knife was used to stab the woman in her left shoulder, causing a wound. She was subsequently taken to the hospital where she was admitted for several days. Following police investigation, a warrant was issued for Clark, but he was never found. Russell encouraged other wanted men to follow Clark's example and also turn themselves in. Hollander Russell, 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 hey, Hollander Russell, don't bother with that. Carlos Russell, don't bother with that. Come like you know, one more money, pan. Look at the money we get ready. You're looking at money, not done yet. You're looking at money, not done yet. A slap of business, the police, they're dealing with. Remember, I said the police, they're going to our next like, set of negotiation, you know. So, they have to make sure they can bring something nice to the table. So, if you're going to tell all wanted man carry themselves, where the government are going to get money for feed them? Hmm? Where the government are going to get money for feed them? Or where taxpayers are going to get money for feed them, my boy? It's cheaper to put them on the ground. It's cheaper to put them on the ground. Remember when they slap them right now? Anybody who want to bury them, I forgot to pay for the bullets. So now, fool them up. Fool them up, I can. Yes, the more can in them, and the more money 
the government are going to receive. You understand? So it's angle and angle that way. A matter of fact, I can move on to the news. The suspect who has been sought for the chopping death of a 26-year-old man in Portland last week, Thursday, has been arrested and charged. Jesus, pain the police, them now here. Top arrest them. Top arrest them, police. Why they now here? Carvel Blockett, age 30 year old, a farm of Bins Lane, was charged with murder on Tuesday. Tyrone Thompson, a mason from the community, was attacked at about 2 a.m. on March 3rd after leaving a party in Fruitvale. Hold on, I don't feel sorry for nobody with their party and then. Me be on the sudden. You understand? But this boy should not get CM justice. Why the police them not perform the thing the right way, man? The reported that Thompson, the man, got into an argument at a party. Thompson left the venue and was walking home when he was attacked. The man chopped him up, people, and him dead right on the spot. Anyway, now, people, I'm going to send Elizabeth to go on one update. 40 year old truck driver Sanjay Stewart of Burn Savannah St. Elizabeth was on Tuesday given a suspended sentence in the parish court following his guilty plea on ganja charge. Stewart was sentenced to nine months imprisonment and suspended for two years. He was charged with possession of dealing in and trafficking ganja on November 17 last year. 17 packages of ganja weighing 850 pounds. You know the police then put a little ounce that them pocket. Yes, people were found in a car. Stewart was driving on November 9th. The ganja value more than three million dollars. Yes, people. Remember me telling you see a ball to ball commentary when they come on this platform and they get to know. And I bit now, people. Me know saying eyes the pan. The war we are going between Russia and Ukraine. And I wonder if it's gonna be World War III. But we can't tell us about World War II. A group of man right down a man level. Find one World War II bomb right in a one fish pan. Commanding officer of the Manchester Police Superintendent Lloyd Darby said the bomb was discovered at about 1 p.m. and the police late alerted. Yes, people, he said members of the Jamaica Defence Force were subsequently called in by the police who retrieved the bomb with the intention to have it detonate in Vernon Field in Clarendon. Darby told our news team that it is yet to determine how the bomb seemed there for decades and very, very deep got to the location. However, it is said that the men who found the bomb ought to be commended for their awareness and interest in public safety. Yes, people, have to big up your man, you understand? You have to big them up. Me have to be honest with you. I'm not talking for quite now, people. Without further ado, I'm going to go to the Supreme Court. Ball to ball commentary, pan the update. Clangs, man. One down, young child. To the court now, a retired police today detailed how he first met with the defendant Christy, or Stephanie Christie, alias Muma, the lone female among the 33 accused in the Wandan Clans Mind Gang trial. Christie, he said, attempted to bribe him with $100,000 to release the reputed gang leader Andre Blackman Brown after he was brought in for questioning at the Spanish Town Police Station in September of 2017. The retired cop also formally identified Citipus, a mystery defendant in the ongoing trial. Again, we caution some of the language used may be disturbing. We have more in this report. The nearly two hours of conversation between the now-retired police and the defendant Stephanie Christie, alias Muma, revealed the great lengths Christie was willing to go to ensure the freedom of the reputed gang leader, Andre Blackman Bryan. The retired police said she approached him, saying, quote, Me a liberty quote, baby mother. You have the G, and I'm a man. End quote. G referring to Bryan. The witness responded, quote, Look at you. You have two of the biggest bad man them in a Jamaica. How you manage that? End quote. Christy laughed while saying, quote, Matting up like that man. End quote. She then proceeded to offer him money in exchange for the release of Brian. Quote, Me can give you hundred thousand dollars for let him go in. End quote. When she saw that he wasn't taking the bait, she told him to make an offer, which he did. Quote, Me go need two rifle. End quote. He said Christy replied, quote, That at the least, when the G come out, we can get that. That at the least. End quote. He told her, quote, my girl, a serious thing me in I know. Me need a gun them. I'm in a war no all gun well in a war. Me need Chris's. End quote. She responded, quote, Me swear upon my pit in life. Any other G come out, that ain't a problem. End quote. The retired police explained that he neither arrested nor charged Christy in that instance because he saw an opportunity to use her as a human source in dismantling the gang. He misled her into identifying a member of the gang who he says was behind a trail of extortion letters and voice notes circulating in Spanish town. Christy told him the full name of Citipus, Jason Brown. The witness says he went to the Horizon Remand Center and charged Brown for extortion and being part of a gang. Brown, who is serving a life sentence for murder, was positively identified in court. The trial will continue on Monday morning at 10.